In this video, we are going to use Moore's circle to find the stress state from a two-dimensional set of stresses. Let's us read the question now. In this question, we are given the stresses at a point A in the figure. We have to find 1. Major and minor principal stresses 2. Orientations of principal planes 3. Maximum shear stress and 4. Orientations of maximum shear stress planes We can solve this problem by using two methods, first, analytical method. Second, Moore's circle method. Today, we are going to solve this problem using Moore's circle method. Step 1, we have to draw a Moore's circle. A Moore circle shows the two-dimensional stresses soil mass at a given point, with respect to x and y coordinate axes. x axis is representing the normal stress, sigma, whereas y axis is representing the shear stress, tau. Each point of the Moore circle represents the, sigma, and, tau, on one side of an element oriented at a certain angle. We have to extract the stresses from the element and convert them into a point in a Moore circle. First, we look at the plane which is normal to x-axis. The normal stress on a plane which is normal to x-axis, sigma y, is the x-coordinate for the first point, point 1. The direction of stress is towards the element therefore it is a compression, which is positive in the Moore circle. The x-coordinate for the point 1 is positive 200. Next, we look at the stress parallel to the x-axis, which is the x-directed shear stress on a plane which is normal to y-axis, it gives the y-coordinate for the first point, point 1. The direction of the stress is forming anti-clockwise rotation around the element therefore it is considered as positive value in the Moore circle. The y-coordinate for the point 1 is positive 60. So, now we got the coordinate for point 1 as, 260. For the second point, we look at the plane which is normal to y-axis. The normal stress on a plane which is normal to y-axis, sigma x, is the x-coordinate for the second point, point 2. The direction of stress is towards the element therefore it is a compression, which is positive in the Moore circle. The x-coordinate for the point 1 is positive 40. The stress parallel to the y-axis, which is the y-directed shear stress on a plane which is normal to x-axis, is the y-coordinate for the second point, point 2. The direction of the stress is forming clockwise rotation around the element therefore it is considered as negative value in the Moore circle. The y-coordinate for the point 1 is negative 60. So, now we got the coordinate for point 2, as, 40, negative 60. Now, we plot the coordinates for the two point in the tau versus sigma graph. We have to make sure that both tau and sigma has the equal scale. Else you can't get a correct Moore circle. Point 1, 260. Point 2, 40, negative 60. After that, we draw a straight line from point 1 to point 2. To find the center for the Moore circle, we divide the straight line into half. For a soil element, the center should be located at x-axis, sigma. Measure the distance from the point 1 to O or from point 2 to O as the radius for the Moore's circle. The radius is 100. You may also use trigonometry method to find the radius. With these information, now we can use a compass to draw a circle with radius of 100 and centroid at point O. Then, the Moore circle is complete. We may proceed to step 2, finding the principal stresses. First, we find the major principal stress. Major principal stress is the maximum normal stress in the Moore's circle. The coordinate for the point in the Moore's circle which has the maximum normal stress, sigma, is, 220, 0. The x-coordinate represents the normal stress thus the major principal stress is 220 kPa. Minor principal stress is the minimum normal stress in the Moore's circle. 
the coordinate for the point in the Mohr's circle which has the minimum normal stress, sigma, is, 20, 0. The x-coordinate represents the normal stress thus the major principal stress is 20 kPa. Next, we find the orientations of the principal planes. In Mohr's circle, we have two principal planes. First, minor principal plane. Secondly, major principal plane. Major principal plane is located at from point O to the major principal stress point, 220, 0. Actual plane of the element is from point O to the point, 260. The orientation of the major principle is the angle from actual plane to major principal plane, which can be named as alpha. Alpha can be solved by trigonometry method or measured by protractor. From the inverse tangent, alpha is 36.9 degree. Next, we proceed to orientation of minor principal plane. Minor principal plane is located at from point O to the minor principal stress point, 20, 0. The orientation of the major principal is the angle from actual plane to major principal plane, which can be named as beta. Beta can be found by minus alpha from the 180 degree. 180 degree minus 36.9 degree is 143.1 degree. Beta is 143.1 degree. We have solved the orientations of the principal planes in Mohr's circle. Bear in mind that the angle in Mohr's circle is not the same as the actual rotation angle in the element. Hence, we still have to compute the actual orientation in state of stress. The angle between two points in the Mohr circle is two times of the angle between the planes they represent. So, in order to find the actual orientation in the element, we have to divide the angle into half. First, we look at the orientation of major principal plane. The alpha angle is rotated clockwise from actual plane to major principal plane. Half of the alpha angle is the rotation angle for major principal plane in actual state of stress. It is 18.4 degree. It can be drawn like this, a rotation of 18.4 degree clockwise. Next, we proceed to the orientation of minor principal plane. The beta angle is rotated counterclockwise from actual plane to major principal plane. Half of the alpha angle is the rotation angle for minor principal plane in actual state of stress. It is 71.6 degree. It can be drawn like this, a rotation of 71.6 degree counterclockwise. Next, we find the maximum shear stress in the element. The maximum shear stress, tau max, occurs on highest point for the Mohr's circle. The maximum shear stress is located at point, 120, 100. The y-coordinate represents the normal stress thus the major principal stress is 100 kPa. Now, we are going to find the orientation of maximum shear stress plane. The orientation of the maximum shear stress is the angle from actual plane to maximum shear stress plane. Now, we are going to find the orientation of maximum shear stress plane. The orientation of the maximum shear stress is the angle from actual plane to maximum shear stress plane. We know that the angle between maximum shear stress plane and major principal plane is 90 degree, and the angle between principal plane and actual plane, alpha, is 36.9 degree. To find the angle between maximum shear stress plane and actual plane can be computed by using 9 minus 36.9 equal to 53.1 degree. Lastly, we compute the actual orientation in state of stress. The angle between maximum shear stress plane and actual plane is 53.1 degree. The angle in actual element I half of the angle in Mohr's circle. 53.1 divided by 2 is 22.6 degree. It can be drawn like this, a rotation of 26.6 degree clockwise.
Thank you for watching this video.